Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a bag from Dollar Tree and this is a result of my recent visit to my local store here in Buffalo, New York and uh, I didn't spend too much time in the store. Um, there's not a ton of toys at Dollar Tree but they did have uh, exactly what I was looking for so uh, this, this trip was pretty successful and later on in the video we're going to open up this bag and I'm going to show you what's inside. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you the footage of uh, my visit to the store and what was on the shelves. So stay tuned. So here we are heading into Dollar Tree. Uh, I don't really know if they're going to have what I'm looking for today, but uh, it's worth a shot. So here we go. Let's see what's in here. All right, so they got the ATV. Um, look at that. That's very cool. Um, looks like they got a lot of figures, too. Here's Torn. I haven't seen that one before. Um, got some of the uh, Karn figures. Uh, looks like all of the first wave, too. Uh, ACRM. Uh, yeah, this is definitely Series 1. Uh, down here we got the Churro. This is from the second series. So that's very cool. And here we got the Steadfast. Yeah, that looks alright. Not bad. A lot of selection here. Uh, store is kind of messy. Uh, I don't think um, there's too much else I'm looking for here. Um, not really too sure what all this stuff is. It's look like little animals, animal packets. Um, but yeah, the selection of Final Faction is good. They got all the Lego sets to knock off Lego. Um, they got these uh, base plates. Um, lots of different color base plate stuff. Um, so yeah, if you're a Lego builder, um, these might be useful. Um, yep, different colors. You got blue. And then, uh, over here there's like these little packets of, uh, different colored bricks. Um, lots of different things to look at here. Cool stuff. Okay, so the moment has arrived to get this bag open, so uh, let's get into it. So this trip was uh, very successful, as you saw. Uh, they had the final faction action figures, and they had actually both waves of the ones I was looking for. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that, because I had been in that Dollar Tree several times before and just uh, seen, you know, random bits and pieces of uh, the final faction line. So uh, to see all of it there, including um, the most recent stuff, that was all very exciting. Okay, so here we have everything that I picked up on this trip. And uh, here you can see, uh, we'll start with the, uh, the Karn, uh, which are the villains in this line. And here you can see this is the Hive Glass Brute. Uh, and uh, pretty menacing looking uh, villains for this uh, particular series. Uh, they do a brief description on the back of this. Uh, it says, in the year 2050, a large asteroid collided with our moon. Among the debris, we discovered a hibernating alien mothership. Now the Cairn are awake, and they want to plunder our precious natural resources. So we recruited teams of special operatives to defend Earth from the alien threat. They are the final faction. So, uh, and there's a cartoon series, I guess, that goes with this. Uh, so, uh, I'm interested in this line uh, mainly because um, it's so economically produced. Uh, basically, you know, these are uh, essentially a dollar. I think they came, rang up to a dollar twenty-five. Not really too sure why they upped the price a little bit, uh, but I noticed that that particular Dollar Tree. Um, I think everything was ringing up at a dollar twenty-five. So. It's inflation, things happen, uh, but still uh, very economical in terms of being able to build, you know, an entire collection of these figures for uh, very little cost. So uh, so that's the Brute, and then this is the Synthoid figure. Uh, again, this is part of the Cairn or Karn, however you pronounce it. And uh, this one has interchangeable arms, so if you buy this uh, Synthoid weapons pack, you can actually customize uh, this particular figure with the accessory pack. So, uh, again, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, really a fully realized toy line, uh, this thing uh, is pretty impressive. This is the Hive Class drone. Uh, comes with a weapon as well. So, a pretty cool looking figure there. The main interest for me uh, in this line was the hero characters. And uh, it turns out they had both waves. Uh, so, that was very cool. And I had all of them. So, uh, we'll start here with uh, Steadfast. 
uh, you can see uh, what that character looks like. Uh, partly cybernetic. It looks like he has a cybernetic arm here. So it looks like he comes with a helmet too and a weapon. So that's very cool looking. Uh, then we have uh, Shift, uh, which is the female character in the line. Um, looks really cool. Uh, a lot of detail on these. And, you know, it's uh, five points of articulation. So, uh, you know, not very, uh, you know, posable, but again, for the cost, uh, you know, to get an action figure line, uh, with this amount of detail and, uh, you know, uh, it's very surprising to see this kind of thing at a place like Dollar Tree and we have uh, Sergeant Steel. Uh, so that's looking pretty cool. Uh, he comes with this sort of wing pack, um, yeah, I'm almost getting a, a Falcon vibe from this, uh, figure. So, uh kind of uh, is reminiscent of the Marvel character. Uh, then we have uh, Sergeant Ruck, um, sort of, uh, it's got like a little eyepiece, um, pretty cool looking figure there. And then uh, this is the ACRM Augmented Combat Rescue Mech. Uh, so this one's heavier uh, than the rest of them. So uh, very excited to get this one open. Uh, I'll do a whole review on these figures in an upcoming video. Uh, but I just wanted to show you uh, what I was able to pick up on this trip. Uh, also, uh, these are some of the accessory packs. Uh, we have a Covert Ops package, uh, which includes uh, weapons and um, various gear. And then uh, the Air Assault uh, weapons pack. Uh, so it has more of those sort of wing features and also movable uh, weapons. So that looks very cool. And then... Uh, in the second wave, uh, they had some more of these, and these sort of have a, a metallic paint on them too. So this is long-range specialist scope. So he comes with uh, several weapons and accessories as well. Kind of has like a almost like a Tony Stark uh, Iron Man vibe to it. Uh, here we have uh, Torn, Covert Ops, uh, another interesting figure. Again, the paint uh, almost has a little bit of a metallic sheen, not quite as much as the the scope uh, character, but yeah. And then um, this is one of the more interesting ones, uh, the FD-O mech piloted by Churro, and it's this dog figure. And honestly, uh, if you're a one six scale collector, um, this uh, dog figure, uh, it's this sort of um, mechanical looking robot dog, would probably work out quite well uh, as an accessory or uh, sort of a character to tag along with uh, you know, Adventure Team G.I. Joe's or something like that, because uh, uh, the scale-wise, uh, it's probably suitable for use with 12-inch uh, action figures. So uh, that's really cool. And then uh, they have a, a vehicle as well. So uh, this is the Aero ATV, uh, as you can see. And uh, I believe there's some uh, assembly required in this. And then it also comes with a weapons and armor uh, package uh, that you add on to the ATV. So I was able to pick up both these again, and these were only rang up at uh, $1.25 each. So yeah, um, really amazing to get uh, not only figures, but also a vehicle uh, in this action figure line. So uh, we'll do a whole video uh, where I review all this stuff um, in the future, uh, but I just wanted to show you um, the result of my recent trip to the Dollar Tree. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see uh, the whole review of uh, this Final Faction stuff, um, think about subscribing to the channel because that video will be coming up uh, fairly soon. So stay tuned. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.